All right, folks, Tuesday, November 24th, uh, we, we get about half of the top side of the uh, the paint off this thing. Uh, and maybe a little more than half because there's more tubes on this side than there is on that. Uh, you see this stuff, I'm scra literally scraping it off uh, with a scraper. Um, for the most part, it comes right off um, until you get to the stuff underneath. There's two layers of stuff here. The shiny stuff is the paint uh, that the guy sprayed over top of whatever was here just to get rid of the cart. Uh, it's probably spray bomb paint. Comes off pretty easy. What's underneath is either some type of uh, polyurethane, epoxy paint, maybe even if this cart's, you know, if it's original stuff, it looks like it is because when I get down to it, it hasn't been blasted. There's spots where there's virgin metal. Um, there's no primer, no nothing. So I'm guessing it could either be powder coat or it could be, uh, it could be like Imran. You know, the old, the old Imran was the first of the catalyzed, um, really industrial type coatings. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's coming off. It's going to take some time, uh, around the welds inside the, especially the flat stuff. It's hard to scrape the flat stuff, you know? So we're using some propane. Uh, we, we just warm it up, you know, a little bit. And then wire brush and scrubby, scrub, scrub, heat it up, scrub it down. Uh, certainly not getting it red hot or anything. We don't want to temper the darn thing, right? It's just warming it up. And um, the old 125 here, when I got it from Scotty, the chassis was black powder coated. And, uh, you know, now that it's it's orange, right, with the bass bolt flight. So uh, that's what I did when I found out that it was powder coat. Um, I just warmed it up with propane and literally with a good brush. I mean, that's not a good, this is a generic but it's working for now, especially around the welds. Now we'll get a, an airbrush on, a, on an air tool in here um, and, and really get these things cleaned up, you know, get into the tight spaces and stuff with a, uh, the, the, the brush that comes straight out of the, uh, of the arbor. Um, the problem is they, they fly apart. Those things are dangerous. You gotta wear a face shield and stuff because they'll poke you in the eyes. But um, yeah, we're, we're halfway done with the top, the bottom. Uh, is is I think is just the one coat of stuff like I said before uh, the bottom when I r rotate you know roll around the tube and scrape it comes off a lot easier so um, there you go I mean the inside of this one looked like that one and you see it's 99% clean um, it's just th this surface the back side of this short leg and in that corner um, and I'll get in there with them um, just a different type of uh, a wire brush or abrasive something. And we'll get 99% of that stuff out of there. You won't get every bit of it out, you know, but you, you get most of it out. Um, that's it, uh, making progress, right? Um, we'll just keep scratching away at it until we're done. Um, then we'll probably go ahead and pop all these uh, snaps off. Then we'll go ahead and grind the weld clag We'll dress these uh, booger, bigger, bigger booger welds down, um, grind them down, and then have Rich come over and, and just really f fill in with some big, big, fat, but nice looking welds, you know, um, that'll be good and strong. And, uh, and that's it. Um, then she'll be ready for um, to get prime painted and weighed, and then we'll start putting it back together and get her out on that racetrack. So that's it for now. Uh, Tuesday, come and gone. Uh, one and done. We're, we're done and done. So, uh, yeah, it takes a while, but um, I really only got about maybe three hours into the three and a half hours into scraping off that half right there. Uh, so it's not really that bad. Um, you know, we'll keep plugging away. But, uh, keep watching. I want to bring, I'm not going to, you know, I, I won't, I won't bring you back again until it's, it's done. I mean, we're, we're getting ready to, uh, to grind and, and, uh, and all that stuff to show you the rest of that process. Maybe I just won't even bring you back until we're ready to paint. I just wanted to be able to show you that I am literally scraping this paint off. Uh, we have a blaster, we have a, uh, a blasting box, a cabinet, and we also have an, an, uh, an external um, blaster, a tank, you, bl you know, set up a plastic room and, and but it just, to me, it, it just, that's, I'm not going to get into all that. We're, we're just trying to do it on the cheap, man. I mean, it's the do-it-yourself channel, right? So, um, yeah, if I had, you know, a bunch of money, I could just take this thing, drop it off, get it, 
get it blasted and 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 go back to a day or two later or whatever and pick it up and spend a hundred bucks and then take it out somewhere to have it powder coated and spend another 150 bucks and man i'm not going to spend nothing getting this thing uh really put back together all the tins are leftover aluminum from the trailer project the paint is the paint i bought to paint the trailer the same color as my truck so that's already really spoken for so um yeah this isn't this is really uh we're going to go from painting this right here to painting onto the go-kart. You know, I mean, it is really, uh, we're trying, we're trying to cut corners and costs. That's all. That's all there is to it. So that's it for today. Uh, God bless Godspeed. We're praying for you. You know, we're praying for you. Hang in there, folks. Um, I think things are about to change, hopefully for the better, but uh, something's coming. I can feel it. Hang in there.